what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, y'all, this video is going to start up Where we go over to Grand Casse And over on the French side For their carnival Which is their take on Mardi Gras. Uh, they do it every Tuesday night starting on January 31st. So we got to be there for the first one in the last three years because the last two years they haven't had one. So um, we got to be there for the first one. It was very fun, very exciting and um, eye-opening. <clears throat> now over here on the Dutch side in April they have a big carnival and it is huge. Um, so but um, I'm going to take you I may have to voice over some of the clips if there's music, um, so just bear with me. I don't want to get a copyright strike. Um, sometimes if there's music in the background, YouTube gives you a copyright strike, and I don't want that. So if there is music, I'll try to voice over, but I think I can play you the music that came through the parade um, because it was actually just them playing drums and so forth. So stay tuned. Hey guys, we're walking down the street. They're going to close this off in just a little bit for um the carnival and so uh but look at that view and that water oh my goodness so we're going to show you once the carnival starts what it looks like but this is what it looks like right now fairly calm but they're starting to set up so we're excited to see what tell them we don't know what to we have no idea what to expect so you're going to join us and see our reaction. I'm not sure we told you guys where we are at, but we are in Grand Case, Grand Casse, um, on the French side of the island. Um, is that not absolutely beautiful? I understand a lot of people live on their boats out there and then they ride their dinghies in to work. Um, so. But this is so beautiful. And a lot of these people are probably here for the carnival tonight as well. All right, guys, here we are. Still taking in some scenery um, of this beautiful area. Uh, just came out here. I'm sure the wind is, is howling on this camera right now. There's Miss Leslie looking piscaresque. Is that the right word? Here on the, looking all French on the French side, right, Mom? That's right. Wee wee. Wee wee bonjour. All right, guys, here we got us some chocolate ice cream. She finally, she finally found some. Here we go. Is it good? Very good. Different. All right, everybody, things are coming to life. The tents are getting set up. They've kind of revamped this place really quickly. You got cosmetics stuff right here being sold. You got street food vendors setting up. Look at that walk right there they got setting up. Don't know exactly what they're going to be cooking, but it's going to be delicious. All right, everybody, I figured out what they're doing. They're making curry rice. Look like what he's doing. Look at that big kettle he's doing right there. So he's stirring it well, getting it all ready to go. You can see the streets are starting to get a little more crowded down through there. See some of the local restaurants here. Lolo's. Yeah, this is where we came the other day. Things are starting to get busy. Okay, everybody, I'm sitting here where is a famous picture spot in St. Martin on the French side. These famous rainbow steps have been photographed thousands of times and now they've been photographed one more time. Do we know why? I don't know why. I guess because they're pretty. Yeah. Unique. Yep. Caribbean. Caribbean. Yep. Hear that wind? Feels so good. Oh, it feels so great. It's been warm today, about 85 degrees. Yes, it's been hot today. Yep. All right, guys. Here she is. 
posing in this famous spot. Here's a little sad situation. Church right here is called Mary Star of the Sea. I assume it's a little Catholic church over on the French side. Look how it's still sustained damage from the hurricane. Irma, I think Irma was in 2000. Hey, Irma was in what year, sweetie? Hurricane Irma? 2017. Look at the roof. Still, the metal's ripped off of it. You see the condition of the church there. That just breaks my heart right there. Not sure they're meeting in it or not. I'm gonna get a saltfish cake, a Johnny cake, and ribs and chicken again. Tell them, tell them where we're at. We're back at Lolo's Welcome and we're eating at Cynthia's. Uh -huh. Cynthia's, the talk of the town. We're actually on the visit art already. Here we go. Right, got some kind of uh, French festival thing happening here. Don't know all the details because I can't comprehend what they're saying. I just know I'm supposed to clap. Hey, we got some hand claps right now. Hey, we got some hand claps right now. Et nos sponsors, donc l'Office de Tourisme Amsel Bright, Delta Petroleum, si vous êtes là, Arrest Sécurité, qui nous sécurise, Dauphin Telecom, Idiane Saint-Martin, la collectivité Saint-Martin, YoTV, Mouette. Oh my goodness y'all today tonight was so much fun we had the best time and i'm so glad we experienced it um i'm tired so i came back to the room bryant y'all know mr social butterfly <laughs> he's walked up to my hoe beach to see what and all's happening in the town area he'll probably stop by the market that's been his nightly stop <coughs> Of course, I'm usually with him and we get a candy bar. So, I'm not with him tonight, so I don't know what he'll get. He may not stop. Um, but, anyway, tonight was so much fun. So, we're just going to pick up tomorrow where this video is leaving off. But, I'm going to probably won't go to sleep because I took the key to the room. And so, I'll have to let him in. So, they gave us two keys, but... We just carried one. And um, so, yeah. Anyway. I think we just carried one. Anyway, I got to stay awake, so I'm just going to chill out. Um, I'm a little burnt in splotches. It's weird how it just kind of happened in splotches. But anyway, so I'm just going to chill out till he gets back. And we'll just pick up tomorrow. I know we're going to the same place for breakfast that we went to today. You've already seen that video. Um, that was on yesterday's video. But it was actually today's. Anyway, it's confusing. But um, we're going back there because we both just fell in love with it. So, I probably won't film breakfast since you've already seen it, and we'll just uh, film the rest of the day. Tomorrow, 
I know we're going to do the airplane thing at Maho Beach. Like I said, we've st we're staying here right beside all of that. So it doesn't have the appeal to me that it does to probably most people. But it's one of those things, if you're here, you got to do a picture. you got to get your picture with the plane coming in. So you got to experience it, even though you've seen it and you, it's no big deal to you. Um, so we're going to do that. We're also going to go um, do our souvenir shopping today. Uh, I've already got Judah and Levi something. They're probably the only, I mean, I probably won't, I don't know, unless I get a t-shirt for Caroline and Isaac and Jamie but and Jessica. But um, I, if, if I don't see anything, I don't feel like I have to get them anything. Um, they're getting us back. We're coming home, right? <laughs> so, anyway, I'll let you guys go. I'm going to put my feet up and chill out because I'm tired. But I had a wonderful night tonight. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. It'll be tomorrow, but for you, it'll only be a second. Okay, guys, it's our first, I mean, it's our first, it's our last full day here on the island, and this is the first time we're catching the bridge up. So, the bridge is up, so we're waiting for it to lower. I know it goes up at three. There goes a ship through. Um, I know it goes up at 3 p.m. every day. I don't know if you can see this ship going through or not. It's that white strip right there. Here comes the top of it. I don't know how it's fitting through there. I have no earthly idea how it's fitting through there. Oh my goodness, y'all. That is crazy. Um, as you can see, Bryant got out of the car and left me sitting here. Wowza. That's a big one. you guys some local there's some houses devastated by the hurricane and then there's some local housing through here La Express let's go see what this place is about we've already had breakfast but this is a French bakery La Express a French bakery they make all their breads I want you to look here at some of the dessertries that they have the fresh made sandwiches that they make right here look at I don't know if those are breakfast sandwiches or lunch sandwiches look like lunch sandwiches but man look at the size of that bagel you think I'm kidding that thing is that thing is huge that's uh I don't know I'm gonna say it's probably about six inches across the size of that bagel look at that right there look at that cheese in that one sandwich right there Looks like thick mozzarella cheese in there. Really, really good. Let's head over there to the bakery side. Here's the front counter. A pizza part, $4.50. That's euros as well. There's a one for one exchange. Look at the pizza bread right there. Um, some more sandwiches. See those sandwiches? Looks like some English muffins. Some of your breakfast sandwiches and look at those desserts down through there cheesecakes galore all the way down through there the line is long it's hard for me to get in there I'll see if I can get a better shot here is uh, some of their cakes that they make look at those decadent cakes I mean that is some beautiful pastry work right there just phenomenal here's some of their homemade breads here in the counter 
You can see them back there on the rack where they make them. See the rack back there? He's bringing some fresh bread out. Man, this place right here is awesome. We've already had breakfast. If we hadn't had breakfast, I can tell you now, Miss Leslie would be eating here right now. This place here operates like a well-oiled machine. What you have back here in the back, there's some ladies and gentlemen. Right there, you see some of the people that are baking right there. Um, it is a very, very popular place. There comes another lady right there. It's part of the baking staff. Um, Leslie and I differ on one thing. Um, she seems to think the Dutch side is more industrialized. There she comes. She, she seems to think the Dutch side is more industrialized. I think the French side is a little more industrialized. And, uh, and uh, we can have our own opinions, but this place right here is a happening, happening breakfast and lunch place. He just puts some more, uh, what's those things right there? Croque Monsieur. Croque Monsieur. Croque Monsieur. I mean, it's like little pizzas on bread. It is phenomenal. Hey guys, I just took an expensive bathroom trip. <laughs> but to use the bathroom, you had to buy something. So we are in this wonderful pastry shop that Bryant's already showed you. I'm not sure what this is called. I called it a brownie. They knew what I was talking about. So I got this brownie and a fancy. bottled water. Check this bottled water out. Fancy that bottled water is. We are fancy. Fancy. Y'all, that is delicious. It is so good. It's a little bit cakey, a little bit moussey, and a little bit like brownie. I don't know how to describe it, but I believe that's macadamia nuts in it as well. It is delish. Can you recreate that? Probably not. <laughs> You're not French? No. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay guys, one thing you don't see a lot of here is farming and cattle. And but if you look over here to this mountain, there is a this whole mountain is a pasture, or this whole side of the mountain is a pasture. If you look in the distance, the cattle are crossing over there. I don't know if I can get them. <coughs> kind of behind that white house with the red roof. <clears throat> I don't it know looks what like they're say. red Angus type or uh, what'd you say? Cinepole? Cinepole. Cinepole. Down here there's a breed of cow called Cinepole. They're very um, resistant heat to resistant. heat. Uh-huh. And so I, I can't see the screen that good but I think you guys can see the little brown cows over there. There may be a white white cow with the brown cows looks like i think those are birds no i think oh, in I, the back. I think there's a cow okay. right there they are see them right there i think you guys can see them pretty good right there but anyway little herd of about 20 over there i believe but look how they've grazed that mountain down and and it looks different just the color the foliage and all that looks different right there so there's beef farmers here all right so there was one particular t-shirt I wanted so after breakfast this morning we went out and went in search and I mean in search <coughs> of that t-shirt and had the bakery stop uh, bathroom stop finally found the t-shirt and so now we're in souvenir shopping mode for Caroline Isaac Jamie Jessica the boys so that's what we're in search of now. So we're going to Phillipsburg. And Jamie. I said Jamie. No, I didn't leave Jamie out. Y'all heard me say Jamie. So anyway, <clears throat> we are headed to do that now. And then I'm not sure what the rest of the evening will hold. I may start, um, I may start packing up. Who knows? Tell, tell them how we found the show. Well, it's a shirt that I've seen on several people, so we've asked, and sometimes the people don't speak English, sometimes they do. <laughs> it's been like, uh, oh goodness, I'm never going to find this shirt. Yeah, we, we ran into some French-speaking people today, they had no idea they, what they we said, They about. just looked at us and said, we're French. We're French. And, which meant, we don't understand what you're asking us. And, um, so, and it's not a shirt that is in every souvenir shop around the 
corner. You know, it's, a lot of souvenir shops have the same t-shirt. Well, this is only made at one place, and I really wanted this t-shirt. Short time. And anyway, when we stopped at the bakery, and I had to go to the restroom, Brian asked the guy who worked there, he had one of those t-shirts on, and, and somebody got us in the vicinity of the t-shirt. Uh, like in yesterday. the, they told us it was on the French side. They told us the the area is near the airport on the French side, but we couldn't find, still could not find the shop. So he asked the guy in the bakery. Well, he spoke French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. But another guy could speak English and told us, understood our question, told us where we could find it, and lo and behold, we found this little bitty shop that makes this t-shirt, and <coughs> I won't get the t-shirt out, but I'll tell you what it says on it. I'll show you what it says on it. Film the top of the car. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. It says, one love, one life, one island, St. Martin. And yes, that is the French spelling of St. Martin. So, and, and it did come from the French side. One but yeah, from the Bob Marley song. One life, let's get together and feel alright. But anyway, so I wanted this shirt. And so I got a shirt. The color is, I got a shirt and a bag. Didn't pay for the bag. The bag is where free. she put the shirt free. Uh, it's kind of a rusty salmon color. I guess you'd say probably not my best color but I wanted the shirt so it didn't matter um, so yeah I may wear that home tomorrow but it's gonna be 30 degrees when we touch down in North Carolina so <laughs> not sure what I'm gonna wear all right guys I will see you once we get into Phillipsburg once we get into Phillipsburg to buy souvenirs <laughs> Okay, everybody, so we checked out a Burger King yesterday, and today we're checking out a McDonald's to see if it's similar. Bryant's getting him a Big Mac, and we're gonna see if there's any difference here on the island. Okay, guys, here's our Big Mac and French fries. It looks just the way it's supposed to. Now let's give it a taste. Mmm. Yep. Leaves a little bit of that Big Mac sauce right on the lip. Tastes just like a Big Mac. I give it a thumbs up. Okay, everybody, we are in downtown Phillipsburg. This is Front Street. Uh, we're right in the middle of Jewelry Alley. It looks like there's jewelry stores every which way you turn. It's not too crowded today, is it, Mom? No, it's not. And there's two cruise ships in, so I'm shocked that it's not any more crowded. Of course, it's kind of late. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Some of them have probably gotten back on board. Yep. So, all right, let's all head right. to a couple jewelry stores. Well, I have found some coffee cups that we got to figure out how to get back without breaking. I really like these two. Do you know how many coffee cups I have? But look here. It's an apron and pot holders. Whip it. Whip it. Whip it real good. <laughs> okay guys, I'm getting the apron. And check out the mug I'm getting. Cute apron. That's exactly right. The cute Look apron. Look how happy all of this is going to make me. Here we are downtown Phillipsburg and uh, just want to catch a grasp of this. This is their courthouse. It's kind of quaint, doesn't it? Nothing like you'd see in the States. Uh, looks like something you'd probably see in the States in about the 1940s or 50s. But uh, but anyway, here we are. That's their courthouse. I've had to bail Leslie out a few times in there this week. We're walking down the streets in Phillipsburg here. Um, we're about three streets over from the beach area from where the cruise ships are. And those uh, 
little canopy tarp looking place right there um if you've ever been on a cruise you've heard it been called the straw market maybe or something like that so you can understand it it's like an american flea market the only difference is these ladies under this tent they realize they get one chance to sell you something because most of them are most people is here on a cruise and they realize that they only get one chance to sell you and so i'm going to take you down through there real quick if you've never experienced a straw market it's a unique situation because everybody tries to sell you something and they're all grabbing for your attention and this stresses leslie out doesn't bother me but it stresses leslie out um, you will see a lot of the same material merchandise at every booth that you go to um hats trinkets um stuff like that for the kids license plates um t-shirt t-shirts hats ladies dresses things things like that um it's it's like a uh, it's like a large like I said, it's like a large flea market um i don't know why but they're not bidding for my business usually if you walk down through here i don't know if it's because i'm filming but usually if you walk down through here they are yelling to get your attention and trying to sell you something so anyway um there's a little couple right here um negotiation see see here t-shirts so a lot of them don't like to be recorded if you notice that young lady she turned some of them don't mind being recorded some of them do so but anyway so and it goes on and on and on all right guys we've been out shopping today and um we've had a wonderful time here we are heading back to the hotel. One of the common things over here is these roundabouts makes you think you're living in Pinehurst, North Carolina. But, uh, oh, we're, we're actually in St. Martin. But anyway, here we go, heading back to the hotel. Here we are at the end of the runway of the famous Maho Beach. You've seen a lot of people out here. We finally got here in time this afternoon to uh, catch a little footage. See that big Delta airplane right there? It's getting ready to take off. And so uh, we're gonna let it get in position and then we're gonna catch the blast off for you. All right, guys, he's turning. You see him get in position. When he starts to take off, I'm actually gonna scan the people. It's over here. Here he goes. He's turning it up, you hear him? Listen to that. Look at the wind and the people over here. Look at it blowing the people. There he goes. That's what this place is famous for. Is that blast right there? Why he takes off. I'm still feeling the wind. We're directly behind the runway. And I'm still feeling the wind, even though you can see him lifting off down there. Is that not crazy? There he goes, up, up and away. All right, guys, not sure what you can see. Got one coming in right here. You can see it. Right here. That's how close we are. And then it lands right over there. I'm here on the famous Maho Beach. We were waiting for some planes to come in. One small one came in and one large one took off. Um, you've already seen the large one take off. So anyway, we will um, end the video here and I will see you again tomorrow. Remember y'all, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything.
Hey everybody, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife and welcome to the last evening and day of our trip. So tonight is the night before we leave. We leave tomorrow, so we're going out for one more walk up and down Maho Beach and the stores and the areas up there. So we're gonna walk up there and then come home or back to the room, go to sleep, get up and Head out. Pack. We gotta pack first. Oh, we do? I have to pack. <laughs> I don't trust him to pack. Okay, so we're headed out and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, y'all, ending this video here. We'll pick up tomorrow where we leave off. Have a great day. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.